This is Charlie Kale with Travel Mall Media Group in London at the World Travel Market with Lynn Carpenter, who is the VP of Marketing with Visit California. Good morning. Good morning, Charlie. Well, here, here it is, two Californians of uh, 30, 40 years talking about, and from the travel tourism industry, of what is tourism to California going to look like five, ten years from now uh, for the most popular route, which is Los Angeles, up the coast, to San Francisco, maybe Yosemite, you know? What, what does a mature destination do? And you, as a, a marketer, packager, promoter of California, do? I mean, what are you doing? Well, we're doing a lot, Charlie. So first and foremost, California's tourism industry is $122 billion. So uh, it has multiple segments uh, within our industry. And you're right, it's a very mature product and mature destination on a lot of levels. But we're in 13 markets worldwide. So we have our domestic base, but we're also in Canada, the UK, Australia, Mexico, China, and many, many other tier one and tier two markets. Um, all of those markets have varying levels of understanding of the California product. And so we are working really hard to educate in the markets that are new to our product. Markets like Brazil, China, and India, we're really educating them. They don't actually know about Highway 1 that you just described um, because they have been really experiencing California on prepackaged tours for so long. Um, and so we've got a very different strategy in those markets. But in markets like where we are today in the UK, that, this market's been coming to California for a long time. Um, there's over 850,000 visitors from the UK and Ireland that come into California and the economic impact of just this region alone is 1.3 billion dollars. Mm. So, so what we do with a market like this is uh, we think about the different market segments that may be interested in our product. So not just the masses, we've been in this market for nine years talking about California and dreaming big in California, and that resonates really well. But we're really going after also the luxury consumer. And so we're looking at packaging up the offerings in California around super fluent and luxury offerings. This has been a big initiative for us this year. We focus domestically and in the UK and Canada on this initiative. And we've done this in a number of different ways, really working with big brand ambassadors in health and wellness, spa, fitness, outdoor, culinary, talking about their view of California and maybe some of the untold stories. And we think that's very important. Ah, very interesting. And while you were speaking, I was thinking of a destination like Los Angeles. And we know what the typical you know, first time visitor, even return visitor possibly, would visit. But only last month, my daughters took me to, to explore downtown. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, did you go to LA Live? Well, I'm not talking about LA Live. I'm talking about that, that whole downtown nightlife Thriving. scene of, of hotels and yeah. entertainment venues and bars. Yeah, uh, it's really alive. It's, it's, I mean, there's no concentration of it like that. No, no, it's not. They've done a remarkable job in the last 10 years. Um, I've had the honor of representing and marketing California and seeing the evolution of that in the last 10 years. So I, I, I don't know. I mean, it, for a Californian, for somebody who lives in Los Angeles, the word didn't even get out to me to that extent and it had to be. So that's a, something An else, opportunity. Huh? opportunity. Yeah, it's a great opportunity. I think we've been talking a long time about the vibrant downtown culture of, of Los Angeles. I think a lot of people who come to Los Angeles also want to experience the beaches. The other thing, I don't know if you had a chance to see this, but Los Angeles is one of the largest concentrations of fine art and art collections. The Broad Museum just opened up um, this, this year, and so uh, it's an incredible arts destination and rivaling some of the great art destinations in the world. Not everybody knows that. That's no, I'm yeah. back to my daughters again. I, I know they go to a lot of uh, art uh, 
uh, uh, store, uh, what do you call them, the, the exhibits, you know, private exhibits and, and, and such that, uh, but that seems to be have been a thriving thing for the last oh, decade yeah. or so. Yeah, no, they've really invested quite a bit in the infrastructure around that. As a matter of fact, we met recently with the Getty uh, to talk to them about some exchanges that they're doing with China and different installations. It's really remarkable sort of how much is taking place uh, just in the arts community in LA. Stick to the UK market a bit because, sure. my God, you know, sure. it's as you're, you were describing, it's uh, different. California's different for different markets. Yeah. What, what else are you focusing on beyond luxury? You touched uh -huh. on luxury. Um, well, I'm pleased to announce that on Friday we launched a online TV demand network, Dream 365 TV. So this on-demand um, video network is only available or has only been available in the U.S. Uh, we launched it in China this spring and then this is our first Euro European installation. Um, and so we are going to be doing custom content for the UK audience through this channel. So it gives us a little bit more flexibility beyond television and broadcast reach from a marketing perspective. And we can do much longer form content so we can really um, create some immersive storytelling. And I think going back to your first question about how do you package, how do you talk about California, um, my personal opinion is that you can't really talk about a destination, but you've got to build a picture of that destination. And video is the perfect platform to do it. Um, but you need to be able to do that through lifestyle. So it's not so much like we were just talking about LA, showing downtown LA, showing museums. It's showing your daughters and what they love about it and their enthusiasm and their lifestyle. That's what captures people's imagination. And that's really sort of the, the thrust of Dream 365 TV. It's really about California dreamers. What else has kind of creeped up over the last decade or, or so, uh, such as this downtown Los Angeles example? has. Has things evolved in, yeah. around San Francisco, or what, yeah. what else has popped I, I up? I'd like to talk about San Diego, too. Okay, let's talking, talk about San Diego. Because you were looking at a picture of San Diego, but I, San Diego is one of my favorite destinations for a variety of reasons. But I think the food culture in San Diego has really evolved enormously. Um, and I think they are also sort of on the verge or cusp of, of, of really having another international gateway with the Tijuana Cross Border Bridge. I don't know if you're aware no. of that, but yeah. So, so there's now a very simple way for people to come into San Diego on what's called the Cross Border Bridge. And so it effectively provides an additional gateway for them. Um, and I think that's really, really going to open things up for them uh, in a number of different markets. But, uh, but San Diego is, is a thriving and amazing community not only for the business traveler, but they've got an event there called Comic Con. And you'll see on the Dream 365 TV network, oh, I'm giving you a scoop. We're going to be launching that uh, shortly, and it will be uh, made for the, the, in the UK here as well. Lynn Carpenter, Visit California, thank you very much. God, it's, it's California, you could talk about it all day and not finish. I know, we didn't get to it all, but thank you very much, Charlie. I really appreciate meeting you.